Hello everyone. Welcome to Odoo Amazon Connector Video Guide powered by Amipro. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to map or synchronize your Odoo products with Amazon. So, let us begin. There are two very important points that you need to keep in mind before you move ahead with the synchronization. First, you must have created Odoo products into the system before you do the any kind of synchronization. Second, every product is associated with a marketplace, so any operations performed on a product will be specific to that marketplace only. So, we consider that the products are already created in the Odoo, we move ahead to the synchronization. So here you can see that these are certain my Odoo products over here and we will be synchronizing the Amazon products for you. Now, there are two possible ways by which you can synchronize the Amazon products. Let's see them one by one. We go to Amazon, product, sync the products. So this is the first way where your Odoo product SKU matches up with the Amazon product seller SKU. So all those products which matches up with the Odoo's SKU from Amazon will get synchronized. So let's see how this works. Create. So over here you can see that it asks us for specifying for which marketplace you want to synchronize the product. So from the given list, we select any one of them. Now, we try to click on the option that says request to report. That means once I click on this one, a request will be generated at Amazon asking for active product list for this given marketplace. Once that request will be fulfilled, you can download the report and you can synchronize the products. So let's see how that works. So for the demonstration, I have already created certain transactions over here. Let's see one of them. So as I mentioned, once the request is fulfilled by the Amazon, you can download the report and then you can synchronize the products. So here you can see that currently this transaction is in done state, that means the report is downloaded. And now let's synchronize the products. Okay, so you can see that the state got changed to processed. So that means we have synchronized our product for this given marketplace over here. Let's have a look at the log. And log in a one process job log. So here you can see by the synchronization process for this given marketplace, products are synchronized. Let's have a look at the products. Products or variants. Yes, here you can see that the product got synchronized over here for that given marketplace. Now, while doing this process, there are sometimes there are some chances that the Odoo product SKU may not match up with the Amazon seller SKU. In that case, system will skip that product and post a log. So here we again come to that log. And here you can see that one of the line got skipped because the seller SQ of Amazon product did not match it up with the Odoo SQ, Odoo product SQ. So in our case, this is only one product which even you can manually put it into the system. But there are chances that it can be that hundreds or thousands of products may get skipped out due to this Odoo product may not match up with the seller escape from Amazon. So, how to tackle that situation? So that is the second way of synchronizing the products. So I go to products and import products. So by this way, you can import the product and synchronize. So let's see how this works. Amazon seller, so here you try to specify that for which seller account you are trying to synchronize your product. Second, you choose the file. Third, you try to specify which separator will be there under that file. And to have a look at how does the file look like, 
you can click on download sample attachment for the demonstration i have already that file open with me so here you can have a look at it so you can see that the odoo product internal reference maps with the seller sk product from amazon so you specify the value over here for the product and you specify the seller sk value over here and these way this way the product gets mapped and other details from this given marketplace so here you can specify all the marketplace for which you want to synchronize your product also there are chances that the seller can provide you the detail of the same product but with different seller sk for a given product so in that case to specify the same odoo product sk but different seller sk from amazon and we try to import this file and see let's upload Okay, I've selected the file import products. Now again let's see the log. So yes, you can see that again a log got created and for this given instance or a marketplace. Let's have a look at the product listing. Okay, you can see that again those products from the CSV file got listed over here. So we have seen two ways to synchronize Odoo products with Amazon. First one was synchronizing the active product list from Amazon. Second one was by importing a CSV file. Thank you very much for watching the video. We hope the video was useful. Amipro specializes in customization, consultancy, and support for any Odoo services. Feel free to contact us on www.meprotechnologies.com.